Hey guys. This is Dan Time One and we are back here at Canada's Wonderland for another phenomenal day. It's another enthusiast day, another rainy day. Um, everything was shut down at 10 o'clock when it, right at opening because uh, the thunderstorm because we had a thunderstorm in the area. And uh, yeah, all the rides were shut down and had a delay opening by 10, but it's okay, all the rides are open now. So I'm just heading to the Yukon Striker area because I got my first meal at 11. So yeah, everything was shut down and didn't open until almost 11. So yeah, we have lots of time today. Park is open till eight, I believe. So I'm gonna meet up with some friends today. So that's gonna be a blast, but yeah. So far it's going really well and um, everything is going amazing. And um, I'm very, very happy. Sammy and I are doing a roller coaster trip next month. So woo, I'm, so, I'm super excited for that. We're going to another ACE event. And this time it's gonna be at Knoebels in uh, Pennsylvania. So that's gonna be cool. Hello. So uh, yeah, I'm very stoked for it. So can't wait. There's Yukon in the back. <laughs> so yeah, can't wait to, uh, for Sammy and I to do trips together because I haven't done a trip with uh, roller coaster friends in two years now. So yeah, I've been just busy. We've all been busy, so. <laughs> but yeah, and now it's becoming a reality next month. So super excited. Yep, but yeah, so we're just going to the Yukon Striker area. Probably get some rides on that. So yeah. And there's the new Tundra Twister over there. I'll get some more vlogs on that later. I know I did a quick review a few week, a few weeks back. And of course, I told you how great it is. But we'll see because each each cycle uh, varies depending on the weight of the gondola. So yeah, hopefully. They fill all the seats, so it's all ready. It looks like they are, so, but yeah. But yeah, you know what? Let's just walk to Tundra Twister now, because again, I'm just letting my stomach digest, so we're just, uh, we're just checking it out, but. Yeah. Yukon, and there's Yukon. And right over there, you see that brown stick in the air that's the new tundra twister it's really big guys it's super big and i love that ride it's definitely top five flat ride definitely number five in my opinion now if you remember this area this used to be where sky rider was this is the end this is where the entrance was but yeah Right over here was where the vertical loop and helix was, I believe, right here. And right over here is the helix for Yukon Striker. Paying homage to Skyrider. That helix is really fun. So yeah, I don't know. I think I might do Tundra Twister instead. I don't know. I'm either gonna do that at Yukon Striker. I don't know, but they are both fun, so. Oh, nice. Water park is open daily. That's good. Well, I brought my swimsuit, so it's all good. So yeah, there's the new Tundra Twister. There's the exit for the ride. Very close. So. There's netting right there, so in case something falls out, it won't hit somebody, which is very smart. And yeah, here's the ride itself. You know, I think I might hop on the ride now. Yeah, we'll do an off-ride, uh, an off-ride POV of uh, what it looks like when you're not on the ride. And yeah, it's gonna be cool. Stay tuned for more vlogs coming later today. 
and be sure to, of course, rock on and ride on.